Guys, we're going to talk today about Marek's disease in chickens and how it has application to things going on in our life right now. Now, first, none of my chickens have Marek's disease. Marek's disease has not been in my flocks. Um, uh... I have known of instances where state vets have actually, ah, lazy state vets, have actually looked and seen the tumors associated with what they felt was associated with Merrick's disease and diagnosed something as, as Merrick's when there were no other symptoms of the disease. And um, I have consulted with another veterinarian who said, that's a bunch of baloney. He said, anytime so, a, a chicken has a a raging infection it can form little tumors all along uh, the system and he said it just because you see a tumor doesn't mean this chicken has Merrick's disease they said that that report that you saw was a bunch of poppycock so um, but and I know a lot of people you know they see a chicken have problems with her leg or have leg injury and they go oh, it's Merrick's disease and the chicken will be five years old Merrick's disease is not a disease of old chickens it happens real early on and uh, it used to be called range paralysis that was the original name of the disease I do believe range paralysis it causes par paralysis where one leg will stick out front and one out back um, and that does happen when my some of my girls girls are very very old they get arthritis and eventually lose the use of leg where they can't draw one back under them that's not Merrick's disease but Merrick's disease is a very devastating, highly contagious disease. It's spread by dander and particles in the air. Um, it is not curable. There is a vaccine for Merrick's disease. Um, the vaccine has changed over time as the virus mutated. The vaccine does not cure or prevent Merrick's disease. What it does is it, it prevents the symptoms, the devastating symptoms associated with Merrick's disease, like the tumors, the paralysis. Jill, would you leave me alone, girl? Stop it. She's pecking it back, back of me behind the chair. And she never bothers me. She, I don't know what her problem is. Hector, control your crazy woman. Um, so the Merrick's vaccine is what they call a leaky vaccine a non neutralizing vaccine um the mar the one that the ha when you when you order chicks or when you get chicks from some feed stores they you you can ask for them to be vaccinated for marrix at the hatchery jill leave me alone girl she never bothers me i don't know what her problem is right now um and the hatchery store the vaccine, it's about 70 below zero, if I recall the right numbers, way below zero. Um, the vaccines that they have available to consumers for their own chickens that you can get at feed stores and such are not stored at 70 below zero. They are not stored at properly, con properly cooled temperatures. Leave me alone, you crazy women. Um, they're not stored at properly cooled temperatures. And, cons and a friend of mine consulting with... Dead gummit! Leave me alone, girls! I have a branch behind my back, and they are picking at the branch. I don't know why they want to do that. This, the consumer vaccine is not effective at all. Now, keep in mind that no Merrick's vaccine prevents the disease. But the consumer vaccine is basically useless, according to University of Kentucky veterinarian. That my that talk to my friend because they cannot store it at the proper temperature and yet no Merrick's vaccine is useful all of a sudden everybody bothers me you can't leave me alone you lunatic <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these girls normally they don't even get near me okay so here we go. Merrick's vaccine is a leaky non-neutralizing vaccine. Now, <clears throat> Dr. Jancy Lindsay, PhD, she's a managing director of toxicology and molecular biology at the University of Texas Science Center. She's well known. 
she actually made reference to the Merrick's vaccine in chickens as an example of what's currently happening in our in our world right now and uh, it's a very poor neutralizing quote in quotation marks vaccine like the Merrick's vaccine and she said she warned the CDC of that this April and they of course ignored her because not in the agenda however <clears throat> and other other scientists have warned as well and I have warned people about the Merrick's vaccine in their chickens I do not vaccinate any of my chickens for Merrick's in fact when I purchased the last my last flock who are now 17 and a half weeks old when I purchased my last flock I called around to see which feed store did not order their chicks vaxxed from Eric's because I have no vaxxed chicks chickens here the only one that did not in my local area coincidentally was owned by a veterinarian that is where I got my little flock of Easter Eggers and Bantam Cochins um, so <clears throat> When, when you have chickens who are vaccinated from Eryx, they don't show symptoms. That doesn't mean they don't have the disease or cannot catch it. They just will not get the devastating paralysis and tumors, and so they may live longer lives without being crippled. Um, the problem is these vaccinated chickens can shed the disease, even though they won't get the paralysis. You can bring a vaccinated chicken into your non-vaccinated flock and it's very possible that your vaccinate the non-vaccinated flock will catch from the vaccinated chickens just like it's happening now it's it's the vaccinated that are the problem not the unvaccinated spreading the, so the vaccinated will be spreading the mutant variants not the unvaccinated my vac my non-vaccinated chickens are quite healthy here. I've never had Merricks in this flock. Now, nobody is immune to something like that. As in dander, this is one reason I do not ever buy chickens from an individual, from a flea market, from an auction, not even chicks from someone else. I keep my flocks healthy so that I am able to sell chicks and hatching eggs to other people without any fear that I am passing something dangerous on to someone else. This is a matter of ethics, people. So, <clears throat> look up Dr. Jancy Lindsay at the University of Texas, Managing Director of Toxicology and Molecular Biology, and she will explain some of this to you. J-A-N-C-I-L-I-N-D-S-A-Y, Ph.D., well-known. I wouldn't look her up on Facebook and definitely not on YouTube because she probably isn't there. And I can, and I'm sure that you can uh, infer why from that, <clears throat> from what's going on right now. Um, so the best thing to do is not vax your chickens and not own any vaccinated chickens from Eric's um, and not buy chickens from somewhere else because what happens is you could actually get an infected bird or one who's just been infected and it will take it can take 12 weeks for them to show symptoms of Merrick's disease and in the meantime they can be spreading that all over the place you can ruin your entire flock and it's in the dander and in the and in the particles uh, all over the place, and you would you will have it on your property for a very very long time to come. So you you what you're doing when you now there, let me let me go back. There are people I know who ended up with Merricks in their flock from bu buying a bird from someone else. And I don't know if the, the seller knew the bird had Merricks. I mean, it, they had symptoms. There's no way they could not know. Or or what. But they ended up, get, or maybe it was just a carrier and had been vaccinated. 
They brought this bird into their own flock, and there they have permanently brought Merricks into their flock. These birds regularly get crippled. They, they regularly die. They have all kinds of other issues. They lose weight. They can have very strange feather follicles. There's all kinds of things that are associated with Merricks. They can also get cloudy eye, eye, um, eye pupils, because it's called ocular Merricks. There's a lot to Merricks that, a lot more than uh, just paralysis. Um, so, what I'm saying is, the Merricks vaccine doesn't work. It doesn't do anything to prevent the disease. It just hides symptoms. That's all it does. And uh, basically what you've done is you've brought Merricks into your flock, pretty much. And if, if every bird you have is vaccinated for Merix and, and that's all you ever have, you may never see the symptoms because every one of them has the vax and every one of them uh, is going to be prevented from the, um, the tumors and the paralysis most likely. But take from this what you will. And in my community section, I put... I'll just put Dr. Jancy's statement up here uh, really quick, and uh, let's see what happens with that. But um, just know, in your chicken flock, if you have some vaxxed and some not vaxxed, and you end up with cases of Merrix, I can guarantee you, it's if you don't have any symptoms of Merrix in your unvaccinated birds... It's the vaccinated for Merrix birds that are shedding the virus. So, and you suddenly have one come down with these symptoms, and it's not a vaccinated bird, is because the vaccinated bird gave it to them. I hope this makes sense to you, but um, this is something everybody should know who has chickens, and this is. This is a very good reason to never purchase started birds from anyone. Purchasing from a hatchery is, is a good bit safer, but it's never a perfect solution. Um, because there have been incidents where uh, something happened, some kind of encephalitis ran through, you know, they, one hatchery was, was selling chicks and they ended, a lot of them ended up with encephalitis and um, you know, trimmers and whatnot, and uh, it was traced back to this hatchery and their day old, their, their chicks they were selling. And uh, of course, they had to correct this issue by probably culling uh, the entire breeding flocks of these, these birds. I'm not sure exactly how that happened, I can't remember the details of it, but the point was it was traced back to a hatchery. Now, I've never heard of Merrick's being traced back to a hatchery, I've never heard that. Um, so, but just know that if you decide to vax for Merrick's, you will always have to do that. It sets you up to have an expense you'll always have to go to, and the consumer vaccination is not the same as the hatchery vaccination. It may not prevent these symptoms as well. I choose not to do it at all. So far, my biosecurity and my... You know, uh, it's, it served me well. This property, when we moved here, had never had chickens on it. At least not in centuries. I don't know, decades or a century or something. It was a very old farm. I don't know that it ever had chickens on this particular piece of land. So, um, anyway, that's what I had to say today about Merrick's disease. And, uh, please inform yourself about Merrick's. Um, but let me tell you one more thing. One reason... The current jab is not akin to smallpox. It's because smallpox in humans was only in humans, never in animals. There's a big difference. Say the flu, the, the influenza. Influenza has, is in animals and humans. This is why it can never be eradicated. It is going to be here forever and ever. Amen. Just like the thing we're currently dealing with. It is in animals and humans, and it cannot be eradicated like smallpox with a with a, um, a vaccine, especially not 
this type of vaccine. It's, it's never going to be eradicated simply because it is an animal's as well as humans. It's more like, it acts in that way more like the influenza than smallpox. So anybody compares this to small, the uh, current uh, illness to smallpox and the solution, the so-called solution to it to smallpox is completely in error. Um, and if you think that Merrick's, the, the the solution to Marix is the vax, the vaccine for Marix. It is not. It never will be. It never has been. And uh, this is just information you need to know. Talk to you soon, everybody. I hope this makes sense. And uh, please do your research and look up Dr. Jancy Lindsay. Have a good day.